Hello guys, this is Kishan and this video is to understand the difference between union and union all. To understand this difference, I, I have an example over here. As you can see, I am creating a table called as country1 with two columns, name and currency. I am creating another table called as country list2 with just one column as name. I will insert some data into the table. Now let's see the data. In country list 1 table I have two countries India and USA with their respective currencies. In the second table country list 2 I have two uh, rows uh, with data as India and UK. So now when we do a union all of like say I want the name from both these tables. So the query would be something like select name from country list 1 union all select name from country list 2 so when I execute it I get all the four rows of data you know I get India and USA from country list 1 I get India and UK from country list 2 so this is what basically a union all does it will just fetch the data as it is from all the table mentioned in the query and show it so this is union all when you do a simple union instead of union all when we do a union what is does it? It gives me just three records, India, UK and USA. So if you observe the difference between both of them, you would easily understand that what happens in union is that it does a distinct select. When India is there once, it doesn't bring it again. Whereas in union all, it just pulls out all the data and shows it on the screen. So this is it. This is the basic difference between union and union all. Union all as the name suggests with an all, it will bring out all the data and show whereas a union would do a distinct select and then show the result so this is the basic difference between union all and union just for some more information I would like to show you one more small thing say suppose I am selecting name and currency from the first table but as I don't have a currency column in the second table that is country list 2 and if I try and execute it what it says is query block has incorrect number of resultant columns it says that you are getting two columns over here whereas you are getting only one column over here this is not fair so to deal with such situations what you need to do is you need to add a um, second column static column over here you can take null see in this case I get the currency for where the data is present for other I get null if you don't want null you can put the same data type static value say suppose like this not applicable so this is this is one more thing that I wanted to show so when you come across such scenario where you have two tables and you want some you know columns and if the column is not present in the second table and you are allowed to take some static value you can do this you can just substitute a static value or a null wherever you don't have uh, the column or the data type and use it but always make sure that all the tables that are inside your this uh, set operation queries whether it is union or union all you need to have same number and data types of columns in all the tables that are uh, being considered I hope you guys enjoyed this video please do like share and subscribe thank you